Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight I have another Hungry Man TV dinner and holy smokers, this one I've been looking for for about two years and I finally found it at Safeway. This is the Smokin' Backyard Barbecue. And you notice they drop the G, which means that this is getting the serious barbecue territory. This has the grilled chicken patty and rib shaped pork patty, kind of like a McRib, in a smoky chipotle barbecue sauce with home style mashed potatoes and sweet corn. It includes a chocolate brownie. Here we have the nutrition facts, the 700 calories, 42% fat for the day, 35% saturated fat, 80 milligrams of cholesterol, a whopping 1440 milligrams of sodium. Here it is out of the microwave. Here's the pork rib patty. Appears to be a small pig because it's about, I would say, maybe two-thirds the size of a McRib patty. Here's the chicken breast, and these are both in the Chipotle barbecue sauce. Over here we have the corn, and we have the world-famous Swanson Hungry Man mashed potatoes that I enjoy. And I have to say that this time they actually did cook correctly with the rest of the dinner. Now where's that brownie? You're instructed to remove it earlier in the process and here it is. This is the one element I'm not sure if it cooked following the directions. We're going to find out when I test it out. The main aromas I'm picking up are the chipotle barbecue sauce and some of the rib patty. Now let's start off with these classic mashed potatoes that are usually very good. And once again have the classic flavor that's been the favorite for many decades in America. They cook well and taste very good. Now let's go to the chicken breast. This is a just grilled, I guess. It doesn't have a fried coating on it. Get a little bit of the barbecue sauce. Definitely a very nice chicken aroma coming off that restaurant quality aroma. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, I thought that was outstanding chicken and also surprisingly good job for the first time that this company has ever done a uh, plain grilled chicken type of an item. Chicken has always been coated in fried batter for Swanson and Hungry Man, so they got a tender, juicy chicken, a great smokiness that comes out of that really does have a backyard barbecue flavor. It's not an overly processed chicken taste. It's like a real chicken breast. Now let's go to this rib patty, which is really, I think, what most of us are excited about as fans of the McRib. Let's get a, a lot of this sauce dripping off here. Definitely a great aroma. A little bit different from a McRib aroma, but let's go ahead and see how it tastes. I like the texture of that rib patty, the 
chipotle barbecue sauce it's very good it actually has some little seeds and pieces of uh, vegetables that suggest it was a real recipe as opposed to just some powdered mix that somebody stirred up uh, the rib has a good flavor it's uh, a little bit more of a homemade rib flavor than of a mick rib but it's very tender easy to chew now i will grudgingly try these uh, try this corn not usually a big fan of. This corn is about on par with the spicy fried chicken one I tried recently. It is slightly more tender than it was in the last few years. It has a nice light butter flavor in the sauce on it. The corn itself is sweet. It just needs some continued improvement and to give the jaw a little bit less of a workout before I can give it a high score. Now let's get to the grand finale, which is the famous Swanson Hungry Man Brownie. We'll try to see if this is cooked all the way. Nice chocolatey aroma. Nice rich chocolate taste. It is a more of a cake brownie than a traditional brownie. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Oh, I've got the grill fired up for the backyard barbecue. But a barbecue intruder is threatening to disrupt our backyard barbecue. He is currently approaching our location using the power lines in a hand over hand motion. I'm going to attempt to stop him by sending a power surge through the power lines. Stand by. Three, two. One. Uh. <laughs> that takes care of that barbecue intruder for now. Laugh while you can, tarnation Bob. You may have defeated Electro, but you won't find the Green Boblin quite so easy to stop. <laughs> well, don't just stand there, you bimbo. Bring me coffee. Bring me coffee. Chocolate brownie was a nice, rich, chocolatey finish to the dinner. Uh, everything cooked perfectly to the instructions, which is a rare event for TV dinners. I would give this five stars. So I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.